In this guitar lesson video, I'll show you three easy ways to improve your guitar soloing. You can use these ideas right away to make your guitar licks, your phrasing, your solos, and your improvising sound better, a lot better. Hi, I'm Tom Hess. When I was learning how to play lead guitar, how to improvise solos, and how to create my own solos, I wasn't very good. In fact, my playing sounded pretty bad. I could play some cool licks, I just couldn't do anything with them. I didn't know how to really use the licks I knew and make them sound good when trying to put them into a solo. It was very frustrating. I made the mistake of thinking that I needed to learn better licks. Eventually, I finally found a really great teacher who told me what I needed to do, and that was to learn how to take the licks I already could play and make them fit over different chords or different songs so that I could actually use what I already knew. This made all the difference and I was finally able to improvise and solo well. How can you do that? I'll show you later in this guitar soloing lesson video. I've taught this to thousands of students online from around the world. Here's a preview of what I'll cover in this guitar solo lesson video. First, I'll teach you lick adjustment. I'll play some licks a few times over different chords and I'll show you what I do to make the lick fit over each chord. Next, I teach you lick milking. You learn how to squeeze more awesomeness out of very simple licks. This makes them sound better and you get more out of the licks that you already know. This actually makes improvising and soloing much easier to do. And then I'll teach you how to practice making your licks sound better and fit any chord you want to play them over. This is about training you what to do when you play a lick but land on a note that doesn't sound so great over that particular chord that you're on. You need a good way, a fast way, and a musical way to move to a note that sounds better over that chord. So let's get started. What you'll see next is an excerpt from a lesson that I taught at a recent HessFest live event. The first concept is lick adjustment, okay, or phrase adjustment, okay. So when you have music going by, you have different chords happening, okay, in a, in a phrase or a lick that you learn from one song, you could use in this song, even if it's a different tempo, different key, different chord, you know, all of that stuff. Okay. If I play this over the F sharp minor chord, then I'm going to have to adjust some things compared to if I played over the E chord. that that note sounded better over that chord that was happening than this note did. So we're taking a lick that we learned somewhere else and we're making it fit the chords that we have. Okay. So I went on F sharp, but that really wasn't the best note to end on for that chord. That was a better choice for that chord. Okay, so instead of playing one lick and then another lick and another lick and another lick and another lick, you just take one, just one, and that's all. And you mat, you make that one lick fit the chord that's being played. Okay. I played exactly the same thing the first time. I went. I'll do it again. Watch. But over this chord, that note sounds better. That note sounds better over that chord. But it's the same exact idea, just trying to make it fit the, the, the chord as best as it can. Okay? Okay. 
just that. If you don't have a lot of time to practice, even if you have a lot of time to practice, this is good stuff to take one lick and make it fit the court. You keep adjusting it to make it fit the court. That will train your ear very well. It's also a lot of fun because it makes the licks that you're playing sound better. It increases the quality of what's going on. So that's the first thing. The next one is note choice, where you get really good. The goal is to get really good at finding good notes for a particular chord quickly. Okay, turn on the track real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna, I, I know what these chords are and I know where all the notes are, so I don't, I'm gonna intentionally pretend that I don't really know this stuff. Okay, and I don't know what to do. So if I wasn't sure what to do, then one thing I would try to practice is when I land on a note that's not ideal for the chord, to try to smoothly get off the note and into a note that sounds better. So you ended on here. I had to go. Right? You want to get faster at recognizing that. That's too long. That's too long to decide that that note is not a note we really want to hang on. As a, as a, it's not really our target note. Oh, shit, where should I go? What should I do? Oh, shit, I don't know. That. Sorry. I want to be able to get there faster. I don't mean play faster, I mean recognize where we want to go. Sense? Yeah, totally. It's totally easy to do. It just takes a little time to do five minutes a day, ten minutes a day. That will massively increase the sound of your improvising because the ends of those phrases that you're playing when you improvise won't suck if the note isn't ideal for the chord because you learn to adjust it. Like, oh, I need to go higher or lower or do something different. Okay? The best way to practice this lesson is to take a very small lick maybe two or three or four notes, not more than four notes, and make small little adjustments to that lick in order to make it sound good. So you wanna try your lick over different chords and pay particularly close attention to the final note of your lick each time you play it over a different chord. Because this final note is often, not always, but often the most important note of a lick in terms of making it fit over the chord that you're actually playing it over. Let me know in the comments section what other topics you would like me to create new videos for you on. And if you like this video, subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. If you like my videos on YouTube, you'll love my personalized breakthrough guitar lessons. I'm gonna show you exactly how to transform your guitar playing from being just okay to being really awesome, even if you're feeling stuck right now with your guitar playing, or if you're having self-doubts. Imagine just how much better your guitar playing will be when you know exactly what to do and exactly how to practice, and have the guidance and roadmap to get there. I've done this for thousands of people over the years from around the world. If you're willing to do the work, if you're gonna practice at least 30 minutes per day, I'm absolutely certain I can help you become the guitar player you want to be. Unlike other lessons online, you won't get generic cookie cutter lessons from me. You get lessons customized to you based on who you are, what your goals are, your challenges, your strengths, your weaknesses, your learning style, experience, frustrations, and most importantly, who you want to become. So check out my Breakthrough Guitar Lessons at tomhess.net forward slash guitar and see if they're right for you. See you on the other side.